Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy 4th of July. In this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit differently. I like to talk about travel and the travel lifestyle, but today I'm gonna to be talking about some things you might not know about my home country, the United States, also called America. And that's starting with thing number one on this list is that in my opinion, the United States of America as a country never got its own name. So a lot of Americans don't know this, but when foreign people hear people say America, they're like, what part of America? America is actually this whole region. This is North America and this is South America. And this is the United States of America. So if you just say America, people would be thinking Latin America, Central America, North, South, what? But the country is actually called the United States of America. Going on from that, United States actually used to be referred to as United Colonies of America before 1776. And in 1776, it was officially named United States of America. And in my opinion, that is not a country name. That's actually just a description of what we are which is a bunch of states that are united. So I personally vote that we should rename the United States to be called Obama land, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the world will understand perfectly what country that is. God bless Obama land. Second thing on this list, peanut butter and jelly are national cuisine. Yeah, no one else eats that anywhere in the whole world. Other countries are very confused why we eat PB&J sandwiches. They think that it's just a joke that we make in the movies, but no, we actually do eat these on a regular basis and throughout our whole childhood. So PB&J, strictly an American thing. And fun fact, other people have no idea what s'mores are. Another thing that I just found out about the United States is that we actually do not have an official language. There's no official federal language for the United States. The Civil Rights Act, which was created in 1964, was created to protect taxpayers who don't speak English fluently, so the United States is open to all languages and we don't have an actual official language. Number four is that the United States is a country that has one of the lowest driving ages in the world. Having an unsupervised legal driver's license at just 16 is only something that a few amount of countries around the world has, less than 10%, I would say. In most countries, the driving age is 18. Number five is that we are a country that has one of the highest alcoholic drinking ages in the world. Most countries, again, use the age 18, but the United States is in a small group of countries where the legal drinking age is 21. Another thing that I didn't know about this topic is that each state actually has different drinking laws in underage drinking, and in many states, it is actually legal for minors to drink when the alcohol is provided by their consenting parents in private property. I didn't know that. Number six, a very controversial topic, is that United States is one of three countries that has the constitutional right for people to have guns and bear arms. And the other two countries in this list are Mexico and Guatemala. However, the United States is the only country of these three that has no restrictions next to this constitutional right to have guns. Do with that information what you will. Number seven, which is a little more lighthearted, is about our college and high school sports. It's completely an American thing that we have really intense, really organized uh, college and high school sports organizations. And I was telling my European friends the fact that when I was a cheerleader in high school, my parents would have to actually pay to come to the football and basketball games and that you actually had to buy a ticket to attend these games. And of course, in college, the tickets can be very expensive, like even up to $100 for some university football games. And my friends thought this is kind of ridiculous because when kids are playing sports, it maybe should be something that's just for fun and the parents can go enjoy freely and support and not something that's actually generating money for the school as entertainment. However, I personally love cheerleading in high school. I love the grandiosity of the football games and cheering in the Friday night lights was like something out of a movie. I will always have those memories and cherish them forever. Number eight is about today, Independence Day. United States did not actually gain independence from Britain on the 4th of July, it gained it on the 2nd of July, and the 4th of July was the date that the Declaration of Independence got its very first signature. So fun fact, the 4th of July is actually not our Independence Day, it's the 2nd. All right, well I hope you enjoyed those facts you probably didn't know about the USA, AKA Obama land, and I hope that you guys all have a happy 4th of July. I'll see you in the next one, bye.